The Sims 4 is the world's first video game PSA about the importance of ladders in swimming pools. But outside of that core aspect, it's also an enjoyable and highly customizable life simulator. Now, when I'm not securing my inheritance, I'm enjoying a classical British life and thinking about the most basic of British desires, like tea, corgis, and making lots of money. So how fast can you become a millionaire? A decade? A year? What about an hour? Today, ladies and gentlemen, I, the spiffing Brit, want to see how fast I can speedrun 1 million in The Sims 4. I'll of course be experimenting with many strategies, bugs and exploits to see just how fast it can be done. So make sure you're sat back, relaxed with a nice warm cup of Yorkshire tea in hand, and if you're feeling especially majestic and jazzy, you can even give this video a like. Now, let us begin. So we're going to play the making money scenario. It's a very simple scenario where you start with nothing and you just have to make one million. Welcome to strategy number one, the trapped artist strategy. This is none other than the wonderful Goff family, a whole bunch of wonderful people who all love making art, and that is it. Oh, and being depressed and making art. That's their entire thing. We've got Van Goff, we've got Vin Goff, we've got Von Goff, we've got Vic Goff, we've got Vec Goff, we've got Vim Goff, we've got Van Goff, and we've got Vac Goff. Oh my goodness, I need a breather after that. Anyway, they're all a bunch of siblings, and what we're going to do is load them all into the same house and have them just print art until they die, or they hit one million. So, with only 34,000 in the bank, I need to be very careful in terms of what plot of land I purchase, because we quite simply don't have too much money to spend. So I'm going to get this uh, 2,500 pound plot here. We're just going to move on in, have 31,000 doularoos left, and our job is to somehow turn that into a million. Right now, I have to act as fast as possible, as is the rules of a speedrun, so effectively what we're going to want is a whole bunch of bedrooms. But oh my goodness, there is uh, not really any good, efficient bedrooms here. Right, fine. Instead, we can just have a bathroom. Wait, insufficient funds. Oh, we don't have any money at all, do we? Oh, beans, we really don't have any money. Right, well, this is going to make the process of, you know, being an artist artist kind of challenging when we don't even have money to uh, pay for an easel to actually paint on. Okay. Now seeing as painting is effectively the only way that we're going to make any money, I'm going to just simply assign everyone to get a job as a painter. That's right, they're just gonna all go find a job painting because come on, we don't even have a house guys. Everyone's just gonna go work at the same painting guild. So well, bam, that means everyone now has a job and uh, they're going to work in 24 hours time, uh, which is, you know, completely fine and dandy. Now is there any way where I can send everyone to go and, you know, get some painting done? That's right, no, I need to just make a little bit of cash. There's absolutely nothing in our inventory. Let's go look for frogs. There we go. That could make some money. And you there, you go, you go dig. Oh, come on, if we're lucky, we might find some stuff. Oh, we found a capsule. What could be in it? There we go. Uh, eggplant frog. Ten simoleons. Right, we can sell that. That's, that's money. And you found mysterious time capsule. Open it up. Let's open up this time capsule. Come on. What have we got? We've got a, a Yuki statue worth 25. There we go. This is money. We, we're profiting now. How much do I actually buy a painting easel? Okay, we need 350 simoleons to be able to buy a painting easel, which is, uh, yeah, a lot more than we actually have access to, and a lot more than we're going to have access to. So effectively, we just need all of these people to um, sleep on the ground today. Okay, I think I need to send the family out somewhere just because they're literally going mad. Right, now I'm taking the entire family with me to a bar because effectively um, they all need to go to the toilet and we have no money and there's no way for them to sleep. So they might as well just sleep in this inn. It makes the most sense. Oh my god, they're spending money on drinks. Who just spent 21 bucks on drinks? 21 doularoos. Do you think we're made of money? Oh my gosh, guys. Come on. We don't have that kind of money. Alright, now all of my sims are about to completely run out of energy because, you know, they're absolutely knackered. But that doesn't matter because soon we're going to be able to send them away to work. And then when they go to their job, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully they're going to be able to, you know, make us some money. Now, it does doesn't matter that most of them are about to fall asleep before, you know, their job even starts, but hopefully it should be fine. Oh, they go, look, there's, um, there's our Sims getting quick power naps in by just collapsing on the floor. Right, there we go. Everyone's heading off to their job for the day, which is brilliant. Oh my goodness, there we go. I think everyone's come home from work. We just made our first thousand. There we go. Lovely. This is brilliant. And with the money we've now just made, we're going to be able to get them set up with painting easels. That's right. It's only taken us, you know, one whole day, but everyone's home now. So we're bam, look. 
everyone's brought some money home with them. And with that money, we can get the easel easel. We're bad. One, two, three. Okay, that's all we can afford. Uh, we've got enough easels for three of you guys to do art today. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have more money. Oh my god, it costs money to do painting. Ah, it's more classic painting. It's more classic painting. Oh, but here we go. Look, they are doing some painting. And the painting they're doing is pretty decent. This is it. This is progress. Sell to a collector for 42. Um, I mean, that's not the best. I, I think we spent $50 on it. But fine. I guess this is progress. So there we go. We've made our first bit of money selling paintings, which is uh, okay. All right, let's try and make a medium classic painting using our uncomfortable man here. And our lovely hero, Von Goff, here is actually about to level up. And in doing so, potentially this will allow us to make a greater painting. Come on. Come on. Paint a little bit better. Come on. Keep painting. Don't stop. No. Why are you so uncomfortable? You're too tired. Gosh, just go have a nap or something. Like, find a bush to sleep in. I don't know. Okay, fine. All of the Sims are having problems again, which means we need to uh, pick up and move all of our Sims once again into the wider world. <laughs> and I'm taking the entire family to the gym because logically they're going to be able to, you know, go to the toilet, maybe get a bit of exercise in. I don't know. Have a swim. Just, I don't know. They can do whatever they want. I don't care. Just stop complaining. There we go. Look at them. This is it. This is how we live. We go to the gym. We don't pay for anything and we just take whatever we can. Although I do realize that there's a bunch of people who could potentially just fall asleep in a swimming pool, which is not exactly the safest thing ever. A few moments later. Oh my goodness, Von Goff is drowning to death. Von, why did you go in the goddamn pool? Von, you were like the only good one. Oh, Von Goff is dead. Jeez. Okay, there goes our first one. He was the one who was about to level up painting. And he's dead. Jeez. Come on, Von. Why are they all just floating in the pool to death? This is a problem. I shouldn't have chosen the swimming pool. Like, sure, it was great because it had the food bar. But, like, all they do is they just go here and they die. Now we've lost a family member for goodness sake. Oh, this is just the worst. This is just the worst. Okay, I'm hoping that after today's work, uh, we will have enough money to pay for a bed, right? So you guys best all get ready to go to work and make me some money. We've got four hours, so get your floor naps in or something. There we go. Good, tasty, happy floor naps. Oh, there we go. Everyone's gone off to work today. This is brilliant. They're all very sad because they're mourning the death of a loved one, but that's okay. That just allows them to work with an extra bit of excitement. Now, what I can do is I can have everyone, instead of working hard, they can just mope around uh, to get rid of their sadness. The sadness might be a great way of inspiring them to paint better, you never know. Anyway, many of them are starting to get close to actually leveling up and bam, We've got some promotions! Van Gogh is promoted to Art Book Collector. Yes! Also receiving a bonus of 400 simoleons and oh, wow, a bunch of them got promoted. Lovely. That's really, really good. So we now have 3,000 to spend. Brilliant. Okay, uh, we can have a couple beds and I think that means that we have have to go for the bunk beds. There we go. Bam. Six beds. That's all we've got. That's all we can afford. We're not having any more. All right. Next up, the toilet. Uh, we could go for an actual toilet. Alternatively, we could just have the party bush, which I think is the much more efficient, viable strategy. And for cleaning, we're just gonna have some buckets for baths. Wonderful. And then for food, all we need is a big old fridge because as everyone knows, that's where food comes from. Wonderful. There we go. We've even got 700 bucks to spend, which I'm hoping means after all of these people go and have themselves a nice big old sleep, they're gonna be ready to get working on art tomorrow. There we go. Okay, for the first day ever, everyone is actually having a proper sleep. There we go. This is it. This is it. They're starting to actually get ready to function as human beings. This is brilliant. They're sleeping. They're going to wake up and then they're going to eat and then they're going to start making us money. Oh my goodness, we have a sim and they're actually inspired. Right, okay, you my boy, get classic painting. Create a large classic painting. Go. Get to work. Get to work. Get painting. You've got to do this, okay? I know you don't have much energy. You're very hungry and you're not having any fun, but I need you to paint so the daddy can have some money to spend and we can eventually have a million simoleons, please. Create a painting, yes. You've leveled up. It's not even finished yet, but you've leveled up. This is brilliant. This is very good. It's almost close to finishing and there we go. It's done. It can be sold for 90 simoleons. That's okay. Right, let's sell that. Sold. Now you go over your sleep. Very good. And everyone's back from work and they're horrifically messy, sad, depressed. Wonderful. Prime artist material. But everyone got paid for their work, which is wonderful. So we have 1,600 176 simoleons. God, this is miserable. Okay, I thought we'd be able to hit a million a lot faster than this, but trapped artists trying to make money painting just doesn't work in this scenario. So, ladies and gentlemen, instead of that, we're on to strategy number two with a brand new family. I'm sorry, goth family, but it turns out you're just not cut out to survive in this world. I mean, you don't even know when to leave a swimming pool, for goodness sake. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for our second run at the ultimate speed run of trying to get one million as fast as possible. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be playing as none other than the 
legendary Karl Marx, a wonderful socialite and friend of the world. He is on a one-man quest to redistribute all of the wealth in the world from the richest right the way into his bank account. And what he does with it, nobody knows, but that's what we're going to do. So let's enter the world with the Marx family, and I'll explain my strategy and why I've only got one person, because trust me, one person is all we need. So what we're going to do is just slam ourselves down in, say, this residential slot right here. We're bam, fantastic. We have this house, wonderful stuff. Ta-da, yes, it's a lovely flat. Now, of course, uh, we don't have any money at all, which is completely fine, uh, because we can do a few things. For example, we can just bulldoze the entire lot. Well, bam, this is going to give me a little bit of cash, 12 grand, and that is our starting money. 12 grand is very nice starting money, because what we're immediately going to do is leave our lot, bearing in mind it's only 8 a.m., and we're going to make our way over to the land grab van. Wait, actually, actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're not traveling with Karl Marx, because that looks like the lady from the land grab family to me. Yes, it is. Yes, hello, Nancy land grab. Fantastic. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to make friends with Nancy land grab here of the land grab family. They're the richest people in this area, so we're just going to give them a friendly introduction and say hi to them. So now that we've got that nailed down, we're going to speed run making friendships with people. Now, the fastest way to make friendships with people is to simply take selfies with them. Uh, it is absurdly fast and literally anyone can do it. So we're bam, we're going to say, hey, let's take a selfie. Now, of course, we don't really know each other. We're hardly friends. However, we get to take five pictures together here. So we're bam, that's exactly what we're going to do. We take those pictures and oh, would you look at that? Our friendship has massively improved. Now, of course, we're just going to then immediately repeat this over and over again and ask to take as many photos with her as possible. Well, bam, there we go. Hey, Nancy, you might be embarrassed, but let's just take as many squad goal photos as we humanly can. Well, bam, looking great, guys. So, a bam, already we're immediately uh, friends. That's right, this is our first friend. We get to have another friendship picture with her. She's not too happy, but that's fine. Let's get a big old smile on that face. I mean, she looks absolutely miserable to be here, but that's okay. She's our friend, uh, and now she wants to continue her jog, but Nancy, I'm afraid I can't do that because we're now friends, which means I'm going to do more choices, friendly, and click ask to join household. That's right. Nancy has literally just met Karl Marx about 30 minutes ago, taken 15 pictures with him, and now he's asking to join their household. Nancy, of course, being Karl Marx's friend, will completely agree. This means we're now going to move the entirety of the Landgrab family into the Marx family, and then we're going to sell all of their furnishings and house. This is going to make us a tidy, nice little bit of money of 300,000 simoleons. Now, that puts us one third of the way towards our goal. So that's fantastic. Nancy Landgrab, it's been wonderful having you in the family. However, it's probably time we rearrange the family a bit. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nancy. Nancy Landgrab, uh, you guys have been great. However, this is the Karl Marx household. So uh, you guys are just ejected into the wider world. Goodbye, peasants. It's the Karl Marx show here. So we're bam. We've just ejected those three people off of the face of the planet and probably sent them to a gulag. But it matters little because they are gone from this universe and now we're back into the shoes of Karl Marx. So, Karl Marx, we need to go make some more money. So I'm going to make my way over to the Forgotten Hollow and uh, cozy on up with Count Vlad von Stroud because this rich dude's probably got some cash on him. So let's go take some selfies with a vampire. Hello there, you just literally hang out. This is brilliant. So I'm um, not even going to introduce ourselves. We're just going to say hi, like, hey, how are you doing there? You don't seem too happy to see us, but hey, you know, like, you're a vampire, I'm a communist. We've probably got a lot in common. Uh, immediately, you're not a big fan of me, but that's cool beans, dude, because, hey, it's time for us just to take as many selfies as possible. So, well, bam, I'm going to propose we take a selfie, then I'm going to propose we take another selfie, then I'm going to propose we take another selfie. There we go. Three selfies, my lovely vampiric overlord, and we should be able to be good friends. There you go. I mean, hey, we're both old as heck, so we've got kind of a lot in common. So, well, bam, we take a lovely selfie. Oh, yeah, look at this. Squad goals, guys. Squad goals. So, that's our first set of pictures taken. We're already looking much happier and closer to friendship, and we're bam, we just do this again. Oh, wow, you're looking lovely menacing in this one, my dude. Oh, let me add a filter to it. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is friendship. Lovely stuff. The poor dude's kind of burning because he's being outside in the daylight, but hey, we've just made ourselves a new friend, so what are we going to do? You know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to ask to join their household. Hey, lovely uh, vampire, my friend. Let's just be chums. There we go. We're going to move in. So, yes, our lovely count friend's going to move in with us. We're going to sell all of his lot furnishings, and we're bam. That should generate us a nice, tidy 348,000. There we go. We've got a new vampire daddy. Wonderful. All right, so out of here we go. Immediately, we just need to find the next richest people. So I reckon it's probably the Prescott family over here as they've got a pretty big house. So we're just going to head on over here with our lovely Karl Marx and he's going to redistribute some of the wealth. There we go. Fantastic. Ah, and here we go. We can immediately make friends with Ty. Hello, Ty Lum. I'm Karl Marx and I'm going to be your friend slash steal all of your property. So there we go.
we go. We've introduced each other as friends, and now we can just immediately take a whole bunch of pictures with each other. I like that my lovely vampire friend has also turned up here. My vampire friend would like to be best friends with Karl Marx. Of course, vampire friend. We so can be best friends. Look, vampire friend, please don't kill new potential friend. You look like you're either sniffing his ear or you're about to bite off his entire head. And also, don't be jealous. I'm taking selfies with my new best friend. Wow, actually, this is a powerful selfie. Wow, Carl just staring into his soul. We're not even pretending to be friendly with these people anymore. It, we've made it quite clear that we are literally here just to make money with them. One last selfie. There we go. Literally just free selfies. And that's it. You're into someone's heart. They want to be your friend. There we go. We have just decided to be friends. So you know exactly what that means. It means that we get to ask to join their household. Yay. Oh, wait. No, Carl died. My vampire friend. No, vamp friend. No, this is so sad. Why did he have to be outside? Why couldn't you have gone inside, vampire friend? Oh, dear. Well, um, that's a shame. Enough of being sad, though. I need to make money. Oh, dear. Rest in peace, vampire daddy. I mean, hey, at least we got his entire inheritance, so that's pretty good. So there we go. We're going to unite all of these families, move them on over, sell all of their furnishings, and we're bam, ladies and gentlemen. 927,000. Okay, we are one family away. One family away, ladies and gents. Out into the wider world we go. We just need someone with a little bit of cash. Okay, fantastic. We've got the golf family. Lovely. Golf family, you'll do nicely. Right, I'm heading on over here and see how much money I can get out of you. There we go. We found Mortimer Goff. We're just going to ha have a friendly introduction with them. Look, Mortimer, hey, I've just lost my bestest friend in the entire world, so you're now my third friend, uh, hopefully. And now that I know you, uh, let's just take a bunch of selfies together. Here we go. Picture, picture, picture. I mean, the selfie kind of breaks after a while when you run the game too fast, but hey, it's very funny. There we go. Fantastic. Lovely picture taking skills. Whole bunch of lads just having a good old time, living in the moment, not a cell phone in sight. And we're bam. It's literally as easy as this just to be someone's friend. We've done it. There we go. Right. Friend. More choices. Friendly. Ask to join household. Go. Look, I'm sad that my friend died, but it doesn't matter. I just want to join your household and you're going to let me. Yes. Let's move in together. Yes. Family. Golf family. Join my household. Sell all of your furnishings and make me a millionaire. Do it. Yes. We've done it. We did it. Oh, and the ghost of my vampire friend would like to be my best friend. Of course. We've done it. We've beat the scenario. We did it very, very quickly. It only took us eight in-game hours. That's pretty good. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think I can do it faster. Okay, right. I've had enough, ladies and gentlemen. We've done good. We've made a million pounds in quite a fast amount of time. However, I know I can do better. And why stop at one million? Want to go even further beyond? Push the limits of Sims 4? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm about to do. So who are we going to be pushing the boundaries of reality with today? Well, it's none other than your average YouTuber, who is, of course, an admired icon who is highly relatable. I mean, after all, they work an honest job like you and I. They just happen to have all these Lambos. Who knows where all the money came from? But yes, of course, they're outgoing and they're self-assured, and that's all that matters. Now, part of the YouTuber household is about making as much money as possible. So how are we going to make as much money as possible? Well, we're going on to Copperdale, which is a town filled with students, and consequently, people we can scam. So we're going to evict whoever this dude is from his house, and immediately move on in. This is going to allow us to get very, very cheeky indeed, because what we're about to do, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, we need a little bit of cash to actually, in order to make money. That's right, you need some money to make money, and for us that means we have to sell most of the house that we're actually on. Don't worry, we don't need too much cash, but the more cash the better. So, we're bam, yes, we have some money, now we can switch back to the living mode, and all we're going to do is zoom on out of here, head on over to the lovely thrifty shop, and what we need to do is make ourselves a lovely bit of fashion. So, we're bam, we're going to go on up to this lovely fashion rack here and we're going to make ourselves a bit of fashion that's right we're gonna we can make fashion i mean of course we could make an outfit or alternatively we could randomize the entire thing which is as you can imagine exactly what i've done wow look at this fashion outfit we can name this look we're of course going to call it scam chic my personal brand new favorite style of clothing it's slightly preppy in design but that's completely fine so we're bam we can make this bad boy only cost us about 130 simoleons to do that's completely fine no worries at all. So now that we have this item of clothing, we're going to uh, wear this item. Yes, that's right. And now that we're wearing this item, we are going to do our best to hype the heck out of it. How do we do that? Well, we just have to go onto Trendy here and just promote our current look. Every time we do this over and over again, this is going to generate us followers. The more followers we have, the more we can control the market, the more we can influence, so to speak, ladies and gentlemen. And so this is exactly what we need to do as much as possible. The more we hype up our own look, the more we're going to be able to control reality itself. So yes, just spam all of these promote current looks as many times as possible and increase the hype for our outfit as well as also increasing the amount of followers we have. Now only 50 minutes has passed and yet we're already doing quite good in terms of the hype surrounding our outfit. We've gained an average of, oh wow, 34 followers.
followers. Very nice. More followers is more good. Just promote over and over again. Farm the endless hype. Doesn't matter what you're promoting. That's the thing with YouTube. Doesn't matter what you're actually promoting as long as you sound very excited to promote it. Don't even need to read into the background of the brand you're promoting. Just go wild. Promote whatever you like. So yeah, we're just going to spend effectively two hours straight hyping up the heck out of our outfit over and over again. All right, so we're bam. There we go. We've gained some followers here. There we go. I have 486 followers. Okay, that's pretty good, but we can do better. Promote the look more. I need more hype around my look. When we get to 11, that's when we actually sell this bad boy. All right, bam. Promote, promote, promote. Keep promoting. Look, as long as we can create the most hype humanly possible, that's all that matters. More hype is more good and more followers, which is more hype in total. That's just how it works. It's this endless snowball of hype. And as you can see, hype is very hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell this item and we're going to list it on the market. Now, of course, items like this are selling for 175,000. That's really good. However, we're actually going to list it for 9.9 uh, .9 million. Uh, this is effectively a stupendous amount of money. And the reason we're listing it for this amount of money is because, well, the kind of world is a little bit busted and the AI doesn't really know how to truly quantify wealth. So bam, a bit of time has passed. We're up to 1 p.m. This is very, very good indeed. Time for me to check my followers on Trendy to see how we're doing. Oh, and there we go. Fantastic. Oh, lovely. Uh, Alexander Goff would like to purchase Scam Chic on Trendy. There we go. We've sold it, ladies and gentlemen, to Alexander Goff. It really is as easy as that. So how do we sell it? We simply have to travel all the way back home to our house and uh, post it through the letterbox. That's literally it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Some poor dude has just been scammed into buying a 9.9 .9 million outfit. So we're bam. Yes, we arrive home. And then all we have to do is say, hey, ship to buyer. Wander on over here. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen. It's just that easy. 9.9 .9 million. Achievement completed. How long did that take, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, just six hours. Now, this exploit is absurdly good. It's incredibly fast to pull off. You can pull it off in as little as three hours. In fact, I once or twice managed to get it down to two, but it requires an immense amount of luck and speed and clicking. But yes, this is the true speediest way to get one million simoleons in The Sims 4 when starting with effectively absolutely nothing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a perfectly balanced adventures into the wonderful world of Sims 4. I absolutely love this game. I think it's brilliant. The entire Sims series has been going on for years. The first Sims I ever played was Sims 2 and I mean that game was utterly mad and now that Sims 4 is actually so old there's a good chance we're going to be getting Sims 5 eventually which would be very very interesting. I mean I wonder how much DLC EA could manage to fit into it because truly the fastest way to make a million from Sims 4 is not to play the Sims 4 it's to sell DLC for the Sims 4. And on that bombshell ladies and gentlemen I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. I thank you very much to all of our Patreons and YouTube channel members, and hey, if you sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, well, don't worry, I've got you covered. Take a look at this bad boy on screen now. Trust me, you're gonna absolutely love it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a glorious day, you majestic sausages, and goodbye for now.